I'm Anna-Marie Janssen van Vieren and I'm currently a GIS fellow here in Johannesburg. I'm a journalist, screenwriter, film scholar and postgraduate supervisor. I currently affiliated to the film program at the Faculty of Arts Design at the Tswane University of Technology. So I, I initially studied journalism at the University of Pretoria. At that point, they still had a journalism program. And I always wanted to be a television journalist, interestingly enough. And um, maybe that was a precursor to that I found myself later into film studies. I went to Germany. I was an exchange student for my master's. And while I was there, I actually covered the Berlin International Film Festival for the SABC. And then the bug really bit me and I thought, no, I really want to be a filmmaker. I did screenwriting as part of my honors degree in culture and media studies. And I decided if I come back, this is what I'm going to do. So I ended up completing my doctorate or my PhD in screenwriting and South African film studies as well. And then I had the fortunate position to be mentored for my postdoctorate fellowship by an icon in the industry, Kian Tomaselli. So I grew up reading his and Martin Boeta from UCT's work, and I really always wanted to follow in their footsteps. And yes, that led me to my postdoc, in which I did a lot of publications. And yes, that's where I am here today, that I also still continuing my research and want to work on more book publications. I've been for a couple of years trying to um, really write this book and just never being able to do it. And then I just saw an, um, uh, somewhere on the newsletter or so on, someone encouraged us to apply. Um, I'm not sure. I used to be at the University of Johannesburg, so I could have even have seen it on my old <laughs> UJ email address. But when I saw it, I immediately thought, this is the opportunity. I have to grab this, I have to try, because at a certain point, sometimes it's easier to get some leave from work or some space from work if you can get a prestigious opportunity um, that shows you, well, you're really serious about this and this is really what you want to do. And I've definitely heard the name Jay, I was like I say, my time at UJ or so on, I had people that told me they came here and wrote here but um, I, I actually didn't think about it until I saw that little note on the email the one day and thought, let me apply. And, you know, you get so stressed with work, you sometimes forget about that <laughs> you applied. And then when I got the, the, the email that said I got in, it was just really amazing. And fortunately, I have really supportive line managers at UT that then said, no, they'll cover for me <laughs> and I can come here for the couple of months and tried the book. Yes, I actually think um, the organizers at Jazz was very strategic in how they selected us, this group or cohort of fellows. They did tell us when we arrived here that they selected everyone sort of based in the arts. We had two musicians here, a poet, um, a photographer, and the, my neighbor also comes from the film industry, and we actually know a lot of people. Ironically, on Saturday, I went to an event. Um, it was at William Kentridge. Um, he was interviewing a very big um, Hollywood sound designer and editor, Walter Murch. Um, when I got out of the event, had got my glass of wine, there my neighbor, Kelly, was actually standing as well. So it's, it's great to be with a lot of people that share the same interests and actually have the same goal, you know, that you want to write, gain more knowledge, and just being a spongy and observing, obs absorbing all the energies of all the different fellows here is really good. Two of my book chapters that I have done before was on two Afrikaans filmmakers. Um, this one I did, this is a French book, um, edited book. It was on women filmmakers, and I wrote a chapter on Katinka Haynes, 
not only on her, but she is quite special because she's seen as one of the first women film directors in South Africa. So that was my first chapter. My second chapter is in this book um, about public intellectuals. And I actually wrote about the filmmaker Chris Roots, who served as Katinka's cinematographer and also as Jans Rotenbach cinematographer, but he's also made a lot of his own work. Then Kurs is also the topic of a book that I want to um, write here while I am at Jaya's. It's been many years that I've been trying to find the time and the headspace to write a book. I've spent four years every time I'm in Cape Town or in the Karoo where he lives. I do a couple of interviews but never had the time to actually focus on writing a book. Because if you're a full-time academic, you're teaching undergraduate, postgraduate courses, supervising students, you just never have the time. So that's why I'm so grateful for this opportunity here at Jaya's to actually do that. And in the book about him, it's, it's a biography, but it's also for me, in a sense, seeing the history of South African film through his eyes. So in that sense, I, I don't want to replicate the type of books that have already been written. I, this is for me a very unique perspective of what he has of the South African film industry. Since he worked with, he started his career on Jamie Ace's Dingaka, he still mo made movies, two, his last movie still came out two years ago. And so he's really seen the change and tr transition. He's worked with some of the greats and I want to tell that history of South African cinema through his perspective.